TIFU by going through my wife's phone. Wife possibly cheated with her ex. TLDR went through my wife's phone and found out she was talking about hooking up with her ex. I'd make copies of all of those messages and get a lawyer. Do not tell her you made copies or that you are consulting a lawyer. Do talk to her about those messages but do not forget to make a copy of those messages. Also, if I didn't say it before, do not tell her you made copies of those messages. Not much to add to this mate but I'm really sorry you're going through this. I really feel for you. If you need an online friend to message and rant don't hesitate I will listen. My little girl is my whole world and it would destroy me if I was in your shoes. Well seems like it wasn't a one-off and there is some real traction with her and her ex. I could never go back after something like this. It's going to be a painful next few months but you need to protect yourself. I don't have any clever advice to provide you on this topic. What you need is clearly some help from a lawyer. And it's clear I can't provide any advice on this ground while I'm living in a foreign country. I will just tell you two things. 1. Get a lawyer. And looks for some psi help. 2. You didn't fucked up anything. If your wife cheated on you. She fucked up everything. Don't blame yourself for the betrayal of your wife. Stay strong. I wish you the best. See a therapist if you can afford it. Get a DNA test and lawyer up. Even if you ultimately try to repair this. An attorney can give you unbiased advice and tell you what you need to do to protect yourself. Lawyer up. Make copies of the messages. And DNA test your child. Protect yourself as much as you can. DNA test on your kid. Don't let her know. Just you be sure. I would like to be. Will be one less thing on your shoulders and mind. Make copies of those messages. That relationship sounds over to me. She doesn't respect you and if she hasn't already fucked her ex she's going to. Get a paternity test on the low. And you didn't F up by finding out the truth. You got lucky you found out. You should be able to have access to each other's things without finding out detrimental things. Don't tell her anything don't give away your hand before you're ready to make a move. She will lie and gaslight you about the whole situation. We're going to need an update. Best of luck, dude. Dude been in your shoes and made the mistake of staying in it. I became depressed and she did it several times over. I finally stuck up for myself and left her. It definitely wasn't easy and I'm still recovering financially from it. But I met a woman who would never do that and it's 1000x better. What's up with all the cheating? If you're gonna cheat just stay single. It's not that hard. Make copies of the messages for evidence and talk to her. Let her explain it to you. No one knows her better than you are just reading your story. You and her took a vow for better or for worse so let that play out if it can't then do as. Everyone has said. Get a lawyer and keep those messages. Bye Felicia. Dude you really want to be with a woman who does this to you. Get out for yourself. Have some self-respect. Get lawyer. Make sure your son's best interest are first moving forward but to take care of yourself. It's a tough call. Some people cheat once and never again. Some will do it again. You'll have to go with your gut. If there is any thought of reconciling then de couples therapy which abso fen lutely must happen. If you stay together. Good luck to you and your son. Oh and please record or keep copies of every single convo or communication moving forward. What's the TIFU part? Because OU checked her phone. Fact if a partner suspects infidelity. 
It's usually because there is infidelity. You didn't check her phone for no reason. And what you saw just confirmed what you already, deep down, suspected. So wait. How did you fuck up? Obviously you're going to get some good advice here and some bad advice. Whatever direction you decide to go. Find a good therapist if you decide to continue with your relationship. Couples counseling will be paramount to working out why your wife felt the need. Individual therapy so you can learn to compartmentalize your feelings about yourself. Her. And your child. Someone that didn't. UTHT kid ain't yours brew. Def get a paternity on the low. Sir I'm not very tech savvy how do you copy the content of someone else's phone. The only reason I would want to know if he's my child or not is for medical reasons. If the kid needs blood organ. Etc. I would want to know before it's too late. But I feel sorry for your situation. No one deserves that when you're committed fully to your partner. Stay strong. And I wish you nothing but the best. I'm sorry sorry you are going though this. I'm sorry to hear you are going through this. My advice to you is to not blame yourself for her actions. A lot of times people will cheat regardless of good their partner is. In other words it has everything to do with her and nothing to do with you. That's a hard thing to accept but don't blame yourself for her infidelity. Good luck. Possibly. Better lawyer up. Bro face with rolling eyes. Everybody assuming the worst when they don't know your wife from anyone. You've been together for five years and married with a kid for three and the definitive answer is. Flush it. Makes a lot of sense. I'll leave it at that. Clean out any bank accounts you have before going the divorce route. I wish I would have. Please get an STD test people are taking about lawyering up or paternity test but don't forget STDs. Get yourself checked out. Keep proof. Take photos with you phone of her phone. Hire a private investigator to put together a file of proof for you your lawyer. Congrats on finding this out now and not 10 years later. You didn't fuck up. Man everyone's cheating this week. Sorry bro. Get a DNA test on your kid and leave. It prob sucks hearing people suggest you lawyer up. Especially when you're feeling devastated in shock still in love with this person. But please do take their advice about at least making copies of messages keeping it to yourself. For now. Just plan ahead. In case. So sorry to hear this happen to you. Op. Don't know if it's already been said. But in addition to the lawyer and documenting the messages. When you have the conversation with her. Be sure you record it so that she can't accuse you of anything. So, you followed your gut and did not F up. Text her the screenshot when she is out at the concert. Do you know who she is going with? To not ruin her day lot of consideration for someone who shows none to you. Adultery should be a crime. Makes me sick to constantly see this stuff. It happens every day. And everyone does it. It breaks homes. Families. Hearts. Men kill themselves over it. It should be a crime with severe penalties. Penalties that increase for things like the child not being biologically his. And so on. Are there MSSGS proving they actually took it to a physical level? Or is it just heavy flirting and sexting? I could see trying to make it work if she actually never made it physical. But if you know from those texts that she was meeting up with him and doing the I'm sorry to say. It doesn't usually work out after being caught. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. You deserve better. And you will find someone who makes you happy again. 
as you navigate through this. Don't give up hope on that. Nope. There is no coming back. There's a reason ignorance is bliss. Never again will she leave the house and you won't wonder. Never again can she go to a concert and you will not be dying inside. You will always wonder if it's still going on. If it happened. When. If nothing she said was true. Get out. Learn to copair and get a DNA test. And move on. Clean out the bank account as seed money and open a new franchise. Just get out she's apparently not over the ex. Damn dude. DNA your kid to be safe. And that sucks to say. You're obviously a trustworthy guy. To your detriment. You deserve the same. And there are good women out there. This shady AF. As much as it sucks you should start going back through your memories and figuring out if those girls nights out were actually that. If she has friends who you know don't really care for her. Ask them some questions. Do you live in a western country? This is disgustingly common. I know everyone else here is saying cut ties. Lawyer up. It's the apocalypse etc. But only you can know if. Are you able and willing to try to forgive and to regain trust. And just as importantly be if she really wants to stay and is willing to be honest about what's. Happening and stop. If both those things are true. There could still be plenty of hope for your marriage and family to stay together. Life is long. People are flawed and very imperfect. Leaving isn't always the answer. Most importantly. Keep being a great dad to that boy as it sounds like you are. Based off your texts you shared you need to confront her now because she's likely going to hook up. Just ruin her evening and do it. To be honest. She's likely already fucked the dude based on these texts you may as well just rip that band-aid off. Before she leaves. You can even say you know she's fucking her ex right as she's getting ready to leave. All too common to see nowadays. Men. Protect your peace and hearts. Just don't get married to these modern women the game has changed. What? You know she is planning to use the concert as an excuse to hook up with him and you let her go. Anyway, lots of people divorce and co-parent. It sucks but it's not the end of the world. But if your son grows up and finds out you didn't stand up for yourself and kick out a cheater. He might lose respect for you. Stand up for him and yourself. If it were me first thing is you need to find out if little man is actually yours. If he is. This can definitely be repaired and you can decide whether you want to try with her or go after. Custody or what not. But you have lots of options. If he isn't yours you have some serious soul searching to do. In the end the only way you can move forward is with complete honesty and disclosure from her. Otherwise you will be resentful for the rest of your time. Good luck man. Stay strong. Don't go back. Once a hoe always a hoe. Get a lawyer. My friend. You've just got a ton of good advice. Especially the first one about getting copies of the messages and do not tell her. And fuck that piece of shit asshole ex douchebag for pushing and conniving to have an affair with. Your wife. Fuck that bitch. Shit pisses me off and I don't even know you. Rooting for you brother. Dude. You're spiraling. Seek a therapist. Just for a kind ear. If you're the one making the money and she's just staying at home I don't think a judge would grant. Her immediate custody. Have to prove you can take care of a child financially. Just my two cents. Comments are about lawyering up and everything else but can someone also say talk to her once. That's why you don't simp out for anyone. Time I fucked up by finding out my wife wants her ex. Yeah. Real fuck up learning the truth there. This isn't for this sub.
Edit I found out about my ex-wife's other life. It was not a fuck up. It was a blessing. This isn't a fuck up. It literally doesn't belong on this sub. Downvote me all you want. OP sorry this happened to you. Get a paternity test good luck brother. I know this will be difficult. But you need to take charge in this situation. It's so difficult to trust women. Marriage terrifies me. Do what you need to do to protect yourself from a legal disaster. You got this. Stay strong. And do your best to not let your emotions take over. Maybe try marriage counseling first. I took one of these back and it was a huge mistake. Monogamy doesn't work for some people. Are you open to exploring ethical non-monogamy? It often ends in destructive jealousy. Anyway. But might be worth a try if you want to stay a part of the daily life of your kid. Otherwise you can make yourself feel better by having your own sweet thing on the side. Bro people get married after only two years. How do you even know the person fully? Let alone make the decision to be financially and legally tied together. Just another reason why men shouldn't be getting married. Better off being a bachelor and masturbating to anime. At least your waifus don't age and they'll never break your heart. I'm not understanding why everyone is on here pushing him to get primary custody. Just because she may have cheated doesn't mean she isn't capable of taking care of her child. To me it comes down to if he wants to work things out or not. Most of the time before a divorce people get some counseling to see if that's the street they want to go down and how to go about it. So I'd suggest that and if you have doubts about his paternity get a test. Well people have already covered a lot of stuff. One thing I haven't seen mentioned is a full STD screen. She might have caught something from him. I know it hurts but have you considered staying? If she gets to see her ex maybe you get to play around too. Maybe discuss open relationship possibilities if you're interested in such things. This is why I date trad women and avoid liberals feminist they prioritize their personal experiences over long-term commitment. Just let it go. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. She comes home to you every night and that's all that matters. Anyone going on cruises under 50 is a red flag. Cruises are bad for the environment. And young folks should be interacting more on vacations than in a floating jail barge. Be very cautious. This person definitely isn't caring of their actions and you're right to be paranoid. Stay safe. Friend. Isn't it so interesting that no one is talking about how Op went through his wife's phone? I'm on the side of making copies and stuff. But it's super interesting. I'm very sorry to hear about your situation. I couldn't imagine being in your shoes. Do what you can to cover your ass and confront her with what you have to see what she says. See what matches up. She said she's going to a reunion but she's actually going to the concert. I'm sorry this is happening. I have no advice other than I would certainly copy those messages. Everybody is just making up netarare shit and pretending it's some kind of fuck up for knowing. This is dumb as hell. Copy those messages as others have said. Get a lawyer. You can't trust her. Anytime an ex like this is in their orbit it's bad news for you. If nothing has happened yet between them. It will. This relationship is over and you can't recover from it. Nor should you want to. It will hurt and things will get worse before they get better. But life it too short to be with a piece of shit like this who clearly doesn't love you. It feels like you will put up with this just so you can be with your son or keep a semblance of the life you had prior to this knowledge. I just hope you make the right decisions. 
I'm sure it's going to be difficult either way but hope you pull through. Paternity test. Paternity test. Paternity test no matter what. And I'm sorry. Make copies of the messages. Don't confront her straight away. Quietly get a paternity test done. Speak to a lawyer. Update me. Bro she's not going to no concert. And if she is it's with her ex. Sorry to hear you're going through this. Wish you the best PPL a shit. R surviving infidelity. Cheating is not allowed in a marriage and you'll be able to get out of your marriage WO penalties. It sucks with the kid. But honestly, I've been through a few bad relationships and this will be for the best hard to see now but keep your head up. Kid will be alright. Especially at one yo. They will remember none of this and always know mom and dad as separate. Will seem totally normal to them. You say that she and your child are all you have. And I'm sympathetic to that. But really your child is all you have. She's already gone. I'm sorry. You need to develop a backbone man. This sucks and I'm sorry for what's happened it's awful. But don't give her the benefit of the doubt here that's actually crazy. Ruin her fucking day. Hey man I just sent you a short DM if you would nt mind checking it. It's on topic but not something that's been said and it needs to be said human to human. Maybe I'm crazy but I still can't wrap my head around getting together and having kids together so. Fast. Shit's wild. Make sure you take the kid when you leave. The person with the child when proceedings start are usually the ones that end up with them. Update me. Sad situation. Doesn't sound very good. Trust doesn't come back easily once it's been damaged. Speaking from experience. Today someone posted a story similar to this one on our rally and he said he was looking to make some friends in the area and he got a lot of replies. Everyone was very supportive and it was very wholesome. Dude. Statistically when a father asks for custody, they most often than not get it. It's not a question of states. You can also have split custody if you're being adults about it. Ouch. The fact that you unfortunately now have to wonder if your son is yours is devastating. I'd confront her but do as others have said. Make copies. Make copies of those texts infidelity is a valid reason to divorce so if you choose to go that route it will help. Update. I felt your pain reading this. My story was almost the same. I found an old phone bill is how I found out. Dude you have a tough choice to make and I really wish you the best. I don't think you should confront her today. Take some time to get yourself in order. DNA test the baby. Figure out your accounts if they're shared and talk to lawyers before saying anything. I'd let her stew and then check her phone again in a few days to see if anything went down tonight. Whether she met him or not though. Entertaining the idea and is pretty much cheating to me. As far as the divorce. She screwed herself because now she'll need to get a job and figure out how to support herself and a baby. She messed up a good thing and now she'll have to figure it out. Lol. For the record. You have free reign to go through her phone as long as the same is true for her why is this a thing. Many people can lick the ass of their spouses but they can't look through their phones. Man shrugging. Get a paternity test. Forward it from her phone to your own phone. Update me. Damn. These Reddit responses are real typical. Best of luck. Mate. I couldn't imagine this happening and I can only guess how terrible it feels. At least try to salvage your son from this.
DNA test him. Get a lawyer. And copy all of those texts to show to said lawyer. Seriously. I hope everything goes at least well in the whole process if you go there. And best of luck in this whole situation. I feel terrible for you. Keep us updated. And good luck.